coming off the ferry. Ow! I wish I had my boots. Uh, ouch! Every step is pain. Ouch! You're scared? Yes. <laughs> An accident waiting to happen, so. Everybody's freaking out scared. <laughs> this way because of light located on the new river and um, very dangerous ferry but they're putting in a bridge so we're going to find out if the bridge has been built if nothing's happened we're going to find out what's going on so stay with us as we drive out of Corzell town and head towards the ferry we are in the skeleton town area of Corzell that's what they call it skeleton town so let's go to the ferry. So before we head to the world's most dangerous ferry for a 2024 update, we stop here at the Chinese supermarket. Pick up a Coke Zero. Here in Corzal Town, look at this. Look at this place. Well, that supermarket didn't have any Coke Zero. So we went further down the road and we are here at One Mall. It's a huge, huge supermarket. They got car wash, they got gas station. The highway to Belize is that way. Corzal Town is that way. So they'll definitely have a car here, here. And we are on our way. Let's go. One Mall. So we're gonna head to the world's most dangerous ferry. I give you an update. We are in our cyber combi. Old BW bus here. Corzal Town Belize, guys. Let's go. So we got some Coke Zero and we got this here. Look at this. Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut Zero Sugar. I think I had one in Orange Walk when I got back from Arenal when we were stranded in the jungle. So we're on the back road here. Look at that interesting house there. Geodome kind of house. Fancy. This used to be a ugly dirt road. Pretty good. Pretty good now. A few holes. It'll be interesting to see what happened at that world's most dangerous ferry because it used to list lean like that sideways, you know, really bad. It was scary, you know. There are times when they have to shut it down because we're just leaning too much and people were worried, you know, that it could tip over, stuff like that. So let's go take a look and see what it's like. Like the road is pretty good now. It looks like they just finished grading it. It's nice and smooth. I like it. Swamp 
here. So when it used to be raining, it would be just impass impassable to drive along this road. So this is a huge improvement. Here the road is again pavement. The concrete part is over, now it's pavement again. But I bet the people who live in Copper Bank and all the other places across the ferry, I bet they're very, very happy. But this was a nightmare, this road. Well, the good road kind of came to an end here. Here it's back to... It looks like they're working on it. I think they're working on it. Okay, it looks like they started to pave here, but it's not finished. So it's going to be good. It's going to be a great road all the way to the ferry. To the world's most dangerous ferry. Maybe they have a bridge now. Let's find out. Here you can see what the road used to be like, but filled with more potholes. And they have a side road work ahead. So they are working on it. But they're not finished yet. But it used to be like that. See on the side there, all the mud? Really, really bad. And it is rough here too. It is bad here. But I think they're gonna get it all done. Very good. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, they're putting in culverts. Oh, the river. The river is right behind this bush here. I just saw it. I didn't get on camera. So they're putting in culverts here because I imagine this area floods really bad. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> wow. This is the way the whole road used to be back in the day. But modernization is happening. Let's see if they still have a ferry. The world's most dangerous ferry or if they have a bridge. We're going to find out in a little bit. Yeah, they're working on the bridge. Do we, wow, do they have a bridge? Oh no, it's still a ferry. It's still a ferry. The bridge is still under construction. Well, let me walk. Let me park here. And let me go take a walk up the bridge. And see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this guys look at the water there those cars here they're waiting for the ferry this is what people go through every day when they want to get across the river but up ahead here the new bridge is going in we got all the machinery here we should be able to see the ferry from up on top of the bridge And I think I'll be able to get to walk on the bridge itself and see how it looks. Hopefully they don't have a security that chases me off. Let's go find out. Solar power lights. There's electricity. I don't see electric pool. There's light and everything too. Wow. It's a big project happening here. That ferry they have here, it's I'm gonna hate to see it go because it's kind of a nostalgic thing, but it's very inconvenient for people who have to travel across it every day. Especially when it fills with water and it's in danger of tipping over and then they have to shut the ferry down because it's in a dangerous position so the people living on the other side they're gonna be happy this is a big project I'll be able to get as far as that there but here's a great view I think 
I think it was the government of Taiwan who donated the money for this bridge. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not 100% sure. But look at this. Here is the river. Wow. This is so neat. I'm glad it wasn't raining today. Because there's a little mud around, but it's not too bad. Here you can see. Alright. Look at that. Huge steel beams. The ferry is right there going to going to pick up those cars that were there. And the ferry goes across the river here. Lands on that side. And then you go to Copperbank, Sartaneja. And some other places in there. Chunush. I think I'm gonna have to put on my mic because it's windy here. So I put on my mic because it's really windy here and I don't want that noise from the breeze. There you can see some more of the bridge. Check it out. Still a lot of work going on. I don't know when this will ever be finished. I think this is going to take a few more years. I'll show you the ferry right now from up here, how it looks when it crosses over. Guys, we just noticed there's a ladder here. Let's climb up, see if we can get away with it and take a look. Let's explore down here. That's where they got all the scrap lumber, stuff laying around. Let's go take a look. Let's see how far we can go before somebody chases us away. Ow! I'm doing this in flip-flops. It's a little hard to do. Ouch! It hurts my feet. I'm glad this ladder has a railing. Otherwise, I would not climb up here. I have to be very careful also coming up here. Super, super careful, yeah. But I'm up. Here you are, people. You can see what's happening here. There goes a boat down below. There goes a boat down there. Wow. This is nice. I thought it was the Coast Guard and they are going to come and arrest me, but... It's uh, Orchid... Oh, Orchid Bay. Orchid Bay is a resort somewhere over there. I've never been to it. But this is awesome. Here you guys can see firsthand what's happening. This will replace the world's most dangerous ferry with a big, beautiful bridge. Look at the machinery they have up here. All here is safe to walk, so I'm walking here. Where it gets dangerous, I will not walk. It's a long ways down. But this is pretty great. I don't think this is going to take too much longer to get finished, maybe, I don't know, one year more, maybe less. Look at the view, awesome. I can go a little further here. To show it to you guys. Got to be very careful that I don't fall. I will not walk on that. It seems safe, but I'm not going to do it because it's just too risky. One bad move and I could fall down and get hurt. Look from this side how it looks. Look at that thick mangrove jungle. This is awesome. Really awesome. 
So they're gonna concrete this here soon. Nice. Here you guys can see it. The ferry being hand cranked across the new river here in Corzal district, Belize. It looks like it's still lisping a little bit to one side. That's the only way to get over the river till this bridge is done. So those people there, they will be very happy. I'm going to speed up the video here so you can see how it docks and how they unload. Speed up now. There you had it guys, the world's most dangerous ferry crossing the river. Look, they're loading up, loading up with some more vehicles. Look at that. More vehicles going up, go on to the other side. I think it's probably security here or something like that. He walks with confidence. I wouldn't walk there because, you know, I'd be pushing it. Oh, he's crossing here. He's crossing here. He's telling the people down there he's walking across the bridge because as you saw, as you saw down there, there was a lot of water. So if you're walking, you, you, can't, you can't get onto the ferry if you're walking. So he's just walking across the bridge here. Cool. Maybe I should try it. Maybe I should give it a try, but no. I don't want to get in trouble. Guys, I decided I'm not going to walk there because I got on flip-flops. It'll just, it's just an accident waiting to happen. So let me head back down. The view up here is great. The view is really good. Looks like they're gonna have a little sidewalk here for the walkers. Look at that. So let me head back down. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk on that area where the rebar is because it, you know not with flip-flops if i had on my boots i would do it but i forgot to bring my boots i left my boots five hours away from here so no way now i gotta get down this ladder and it hurts the feet with flip-flops How did they get this machine up here in the first place? That's what I'm thinking now. <laughs> How did this machine get up here? Okay, there's no road going up. What the heck? Okay. Let me head down. Oy, oy, oy. Con mucho cuidado. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Ouch, it hurts my feet. Ah, okay. Once I get started, it's not too bad. But it hurts the flip-flops. Ow. I wish I had my boots. Ah, ouch. Every step is pain. Ouch. But I'm glad that I got up there. I hope you guys enjoy it and see there is progress happening. Pretty soon the world's most dangerous ferry will no longer be in service. I'm figuring this is going to take at least another year or so. And I'm almost down. 
I almost made it. And touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, so how'd they get the machine up there? That's a mystery. If anybody knows how they got that machine up there, please let me know in the comments. That would be interesting to know. How the heck did they do that? Check I didn't rip my flip-flops going on that. So let me head back down. This is a great project. Really good. I'm glad I came. See the cyber commies parked down there? I think we're gonna go over the ferry. We're gonna drive over the ferry for you guys so you can see what it's like with the vehicle. And maybe we're gonna take a drive to Copper Bank Village. I have not filmed there yet. So that might be interesting for you guys. Let me head on down. I wanna see if I can go on the side here and look at the bridge from underneath. I don't know if I'll be able to. Not with the footwear I have on. No. No. That won't be possible. I won't be able to get through there. Not with, not with my flip-flops. Well, I tried. I tried. So get in line with the other cars right now. And let's head over the ferry. And let's go to Copper Bank. Come on, vamonos. I'm gonna have to drive through that water to get onto the ferry. There's only two cars, so let me hurry up. And we'll get on right over the ferry. Quick thing, won't take long. Vamonos. Yeah, wrecking ball. Yeah. So guys, your cars are unloading. And we're going to be driving on. Beautiful water here. Can't film if you don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's terrified in the back. Everybody's freaking out, scared. Please keep this in first gear. Please, it's reverse a little. Okay. Oh God. You gotta reverse a little. Don't go too back. <laughs> Let's get out. Let's get out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you gotta balance this thing. You gotta balance it. <laughs> Otherwise, things could go wrong. <laughs> Was this scary driving on this thing? But here we are. Look at it. You see how it's leaning? It's leaning to one end like that. It's actually leaning sideways like that. This here is the world's most dangerous ferry, guys. And we're on it. And we're going to the other side. It's not leaning as much as it was when I made my official first video. But it still is. I'm out here on the ramp where cars load up. See here? And they're on the go. They are on the go. Look at that. Hand cranked. Let me show you how they crank. Where are you, Maria? Is actually cranking. 
she is cranking, getting us over. Look how they do this. This is how it's done. Where are you, Maria, hard at work? This is pretty awesome. There's the cyber combi. They say the bridge will be done by the end of the year, that's what the guy said. It probably you can't see it on the GoPros because of the stabilization, but this thing is leaning. It is leaning to one side. So we came from there. This here is the new river. You go through down this river this way, end up in Corzal town. You go up the river this way, you go to Orange Rock. Oh, and the breeze. The breeze is so good. So, so nice. Here's the cyber combi inside. Very good breeze here. Here guys can see the bridge from the ferry, how it's coming along. Look at that, it's going good. It is going excellent. It's high enough so that the tugboats can go through here because they have the tugboats that go through here all the time. So it's high enough for that. I don't think if you have a big sailing bo sailboat you're gonna get through there. You might have to drop the mast. Car over there waiting to get on this when we leave. Looking excellent. They say by the end of the year should be done. I don't know if I'll be back around that time, but I will be back with another update when it's done. When I make another Belize tour, I'm definitely gonna come and check it out and give you guys a report. So we are off to Copper Bank Village and show you what that looks like. See you in a little bit, guys. We're going to be landing right now on the other side, so let me get into the van. And get ready to roll. Because people want to move. People want to keep traveling. And when they say, you gotta go, you gotta go. So they've done a lot of work. They've done a lot of work to this ferry. It feels a lot safer. I'm gonna wait until all of you guys like pull on. Then that earlier time. You're scared? Yes. <laughs> Perlita's scared. She says she treasures her life too much. They say they're not going to drive off the ferry, they're actually going to walk down. I'm going to sit back here. Yeah, back there is nice. Sugar Free Traveler is with us. He lives in Itztapa, Zihuatanejo, Guerrero, in Mexico, but he's here on holiday. He's here on holiday. Hey, that was good exercise, guys. Yeah. Careful, careful, please. Film me. Here we go, coming off the ferry. See you guys. Bye. Sitting down here. Something different. Too lazy to get up. Let's see if the cyber combi can make it. Let's hope I don't fall out. Whoa. Look at that. That's how it's coming off the ferry. All right, we're off the ferry. There it is. Now we're gonna keep unrolling. You guys ready? Everybody in? Everybody inside? Yeah. yeah everybody. All right. All right. Let's, go. Let's go to Copper Bank. Oh, let's count the chickens. Count the chickens. Yeah. It's a dirt road, to Copper Bank. Little fishing village here in the Corzal district. Let's go explore. Guys, I'm on the other side of the river. And look, the bridge here is Pretty much on this side, you can drive up already. 
you can't get over, but you can walk up. So let's take a walk up and see what it looks like from this side. Wow. So it might be done by the end of the year the way it is because this here is almost finished. So I guess what they're going to do on the other side, they're going to put a dirt ramp up, then eventually it'll get paved. This is awesome. Look down there, it's all swamp. See that? Everything's swamp around here. Here come cars for the ferry, see? They're gonna get over the river. This will be very convenient for the people living on this side of the river. I bet you they are so happy. So, so happy because there would be times when the ferry would be out and they'd be trapped. The only way they, if they need to get to Corzal or Chetama, Mexico, they would have to drive all the way around through Orange Rock Town. That's a long journey. So this would be a lot better for them. It will shorten the trip. Also on holidays, like Easter and other holidays, they stand in line here waiting for their turn on the ferry for over an hour. There'll be 100 cars lined up all along here. Everybody waiting for the ferry. We've done it. <coughs> We've done it and then, um, yeah, we've been over an hour in line, just waiting to get across. So this will speed things up. Yeah, look at this. It's pretty much done over here. Look at that. Awesome. See, there goes the ferry back there. Totally awesome. Then go take a peep over on this side. What a job. What a big job. Looks like gonna be light poles. Yeah, it looks like light poles are gonna have here. The barge down there, a little boat. See, this way you keep up the river to Orange Rock Town. Oh, I gotta be careful walking here because of this nails, and I'm wearing flip flops, so don't stand on anything. I wonder what this is for. I got no idea. More light poles back there. Look at that, awesome jungle in there, on mangrove. See, we are parked way down there. So they've done a big job here. Down here, guys, they used to have a bar down here. Back in the olden days, got their outhouse. So guys, very soon, Maybe by the end of the year, the world's most dangerous ferry will be no more. I'll put a thumb, my thumbnail from that video up here in this corner. Check it out, I'll leave a link. I got, I think two or three videos. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. And now we are going to Copper Bank Village down that road. It looks like it might be paved. Wow, progress, progress is happening. Because these roads used to be terrible. And if that's paved up ahead, wow. It's gonna make life so much better for people living over there. It will increase property values. It's, it's a win-win situation for everybody. That's for sure. And many people said, you know, we don't wanna live across the river because of that stupid ferry. Not now, when this bridge is done, it's gonna be good. So let's go to Copperbank Village.